All right, so I got this thing up on jack stands. I got it running and driving, but it's got no brakes. None, zero, zilch. So I had to replace a coolant line or radiator hose because it was leaking a little bit. Uh, new battery over there. Uh, new gas tank. Uh, what else did I do? Um, fuel pump, electronic fuel pump back here. Sending you, or uh, uh, fuel lines all the way up to the front. So it fires up and runs well. Uh, goes through all the gears. I took it for a quick drive. Um, went through all the gears, but the brakes were like nothing. I'd have to pump them up like four or five times before anything happened. And then once they got a little pressure, I'd push them again and the freaking it would, the, the car would dart off to the left. So something's going on with these wheel cylinders, I think. So I've got a new master cylinder. I've got all four new wheel cylinders. And I'm not gonna do pads or uh, drums yet. We'll take them off and see how those are. And if we need to change those out, I'll change them out. Um, the only thing brake system wise I did not get is the, uh, is the booster. So um, that, one's a, that one's a chunk of change. If I wanna get one that's rebuilt, I think this, boost, this booster's like, I don't know, 500, 600 bucks, something like that. So um, we will uh, replace the master cylinder, bench bleed it put all new fluid in, uh, bleed the whole system out and see what it does from that point. If I still have the same, um, no brake power, then I think I'll just have that booster replaced. They make a lot of, there's a lot of guys online that rebuild those. So I can send that one in and have rebuilt or they'll just send me a new one and I'll send that one in as a core. So, um, spent a lot of time on this door, like a ton of time on this door. Um, cause it would not it would rub the fender. So, uh, I still need to put a little bit more work into it, but, um, took this whole door card apart, uh, and all the guts on the inside to get to the hinges, uh, to, uh, adjust the door, man. It took me freaking forever. I still got to put the handles back on. These are kind of cool. So it's spring loaded. It's got a spring in there. And then to get the handles off, you depress this so that you can go back in there with the, uh, uh, and push that clip out. It's a pretty sweet deal. Uh, in the meantime, I lost the clips. Uh, they're probably somewhere in this general area, uh, I'm sure. So I got to get a couple new clips for those. But um, that floor plan's floor floor plan right. The floor plan is rotted out. So uh, I'll pull that out. And you can actually see through it right there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's nice. It uh, it's a Get rid of your drink hole. Is that What's this? Don't know. So uh, I'm gonna pull the seats out. I want to get it on the road and driving first, and get a good feel for what it needs, drivability wise. I know there's something wrong with the U joint in the back. The car's got a vibration. The guy said that uh, that I got it from. He said that uh, um, somebody screwed up the U joint. He said they put it in and it's there, but something's not right. So I'm guessing. That U-joint looks pretty old, so my guess is one of those cups is frozen, which isn't a big deal. We'll just swap a new U-joint into it and see if that makes it any better and uh, go from there, I guess. Uh, so I got a quote for, um, man, look at all these little covers and stuff that they put on the hide. That's pretty sweet. Anyways, uh, they, uh, um, I got a quote for the seats, so I'm gonna have somebody reupholster the front and back seats and probably just like a modern black black vinyl probably do like, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing yet, but it's gonna be like solid black vinyl and then perforated in the seat areas. Something a little more modern looking. Everything on the inside of the car is gonna go away from this original. Um, haters be haters, but I just don't care for the original. We'll keep the same theme. I think we'll keep all the trim all the shapes, but we're just gonna change the the fabric out to something more original color. And I'll put this into like black vinyl, paint this, repaint this, polish all this up, see what we can get. Uh, um, and then the carpet will be black, headliner will be black, this will be black, wrap the dash in black. What, that's my first first thought. And things change as they go, you know? Never, nothing's ever, nothing's ever what uh, your initial plan is. So today my goal, master cylinder, replace that, replace all four cylinders, bleed the whole system out and 
take the car for a drive and see if um, that solves our brake issue. And then if it does, we'll uh, uh, pull that drive shaft, uh, go grab a new U-joint, put that in. And hopefully at that point, the car is closer to driving. Okay. See if it drives. Tail lights, I think. Yeah, tail lights. Is a boat. Actually, there's a little car tuning or something in there. All right, kind of scary with no brakes. You got to pump them up really good. Have a little bit at the floor. 